Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. Today I want to make this cake that I found in a group that I like to follow online and it's called Alabama Cooking. And if you've not seen the group, look them up. They're on Facebook and you get some really good recipes. Chef Jason Haywood shared this recipe on there and I thought it sounded so interesting and it's called Marguerite Allen's cream cheese pound cake. I've got the recipe right here on my phone and you know, it's starting out with one eight ounce block of cream cheese and three sticks of butter. They're at room temperature. You can't beat that cream cheese and three sticks of butter. Now I've got my oven preheated to 325 so it's waiting on us instead of us waiting on it so i've creamed together my cream cheese and butter but i want to give it one more whir just to make sure we've got everything blended when you want it fluffy and light and i think that did it now we need to add some sugar and this cake calls for three cups of sugar. So I'm gonna get that in here real quick. And then we're gonna get that mixed up. I hope my bowl's big enough. Okay, that's three cups of sugar. So let me get this mixed up. All right, so I got that mixed up, and I'm just gonna scrape down the side of my bowl, just like I would if I was using the big mixer. Now, I have six eggs that I've already cracked into this cup. I'm using extra large eggs. You can use large, but um, the recipe calls for large, but I like to use extra large. I just think it makes my baking a little better. So I'm going to get these incorporated one at a time. So give me just a minute. Okay, that was the last egg. Okay, now we need to add some flavoring. It says flavoring, I'm using extract. Now it's calling for a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of almond, and a teaspoon of butter flavoring. I don't have any butter flavoring. So I'm going to add a little bit extra of the vanilla and the almond. I think that'll help make up the difference. So, and y'all know I love this vanilla bean paste. And you know I don't measure. I just pour till I'm happy. And that looks, that looks good. That's a little over a teaspoon. And we're going to add some almond extract. Oh, I love the smell of almond extract. All right. And let's get this mixed in. Oh, what I love about this vanilla bean paste is I can see the little flecks of vanilla in here. And it's so pretty. And y'all, that almond extract is just, I just got a big whiff of it. Oh, my goodness. So, we're using Swan's Down cake flour today. Or whatever cake flour you have. So we need three cups of this, and I hope my bowl holds it all. Now, this is with an electric mixer, beat three minutes. If you're doing it by hand, 300 strokes. So... Okay. Oh, that's full, isn't it? I'm going to have to go real slow because I don't want to wear it. Better yet, I don't want my kitchen full of flour. So let me get this worked in here and I'll be back. Okay, so I have got this cake all mixed up. Now, I just want to run my spatula down in there just to make sure I've got everything down in the bottom because this bowl is pretty full. Now, I have a tube pan here. You can bake this in a tube pan or 
a blank pan and I'm using the tube pan and then I can't remember if to tell you whether this is a 10 or 12 cup. Um, yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> so I want to get this poured in here. Now we're going to bake it on 325. Oh, I sprayed this pan with the non-stick baking spray. So I forgot to tell you that. So I want to get this in here. Now we're going to bake this, like I said, on 325 for the recipe calls for, sorry, 90 minutes and or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Now y'all know my oven cooks a little bit slower than some, so mine might take a little bit more, but I'm going to check it at 90 just to be sure. Then we're going to get it cold and we're going to get it out of this pan and I want to come back and show you what it looks like, okay? I can't wait to get this cake. Pop loves pound cakes. We both do. And uh, the only thing missing is I wish I had some fresh strawberries. Wouldn't that be good? Let's taste it. The almond extract comes through on that. The vanilla, like I said, I love seeing the little vanilla seeds in here. It's just uh, beautiful. So I'm going to get this in the oven, get my timer set, and I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like when we're done, okay? I have taken this beautiful cake out of the oven, and I have turned it out of the pan onto a cooling rack, and I have let it cool for a few minutes. Can you see how beautiful that is? Oh, let's give it a try. I want just a small little piece. I can't wait. And it could probably cool a little bit longer, but I'm excited to try this cake. I just want a small piece. Oh, it's so tender, y'all. So tender. And oh. oh, looky there. Yeah, can you see the inside of that? And see, it's still, it's still warm. Let's give it a try. I'm going to take a picture of this inside so you can see just how beautiful and tender and moist this cake is. Mmm. Yeah. I'm seeing the little specks of vanilla, <clears throat> that vanilla bean through this, and that almond extract is coming through. It's not overpowering. It is just the perfect amount and the perfect taste. Let's get one more bite. Mm. I'm going to go finish my cake. Only thing that's missing now is some fresh berries on top. Um, I hope you'll make this cake. Now, I'm going to put the recipe in the description box below, and I'll give you the name of the group. Again, it's Alabama Cooking, and um, I'll put that in the description box below this video also. I appreciate each and every one of you. And again, if you haven't thought about getting one of my cookbooks, please think about it. I have a lot. There's 101 recipes. They're all mine. And um, it's recipes we have cooked through the years. I've been cooking a long time. So it's recipes of mine that my mother used to make, my grandmother used to make. So I hope you'll think about getting one. And if you do, you can pick it up at KarenJonesFoodAndFamily.com. And that'll, from the link there, it'll take you to a secure website. It goes straight to my printer. And uh, so they'll get you all fixed up. Please like, share, 
subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I so look forward to you joining me in my kitchen each and every time. And I hope you'll come back soon. Thanks, everybody.